Hello Wonksters, long time and no talk, no see. Me talk much now. Yes, it's been, I think seven months since my last video. Uh, kind of fell off the video wagon there. Uh, and so this is sadly the end, the final video of the very short number of videos, which is supposed to be many videos. Big plans, little execution. This is the end. At almost this exact date, a year ago, I was making the opening first video for The Real Making Do. So the year was mostly failure, most, mostly an epic fail. There was a little bit of success mixed in there, but uh, not very good. But yeah, enough to encourage me, enough to think it wasn't complete waste. So, you know, I had the different areas I was going to work on, so I'm just going to sum up what happened over the year. One was wanting to get healthy and, uh, you know, skinny and, um, camera doesn't show below here, but that didn't really happen. I am six pounds lighter than I was in the beginning of the year. Six pounds in a year. That's a weight loss plan. You know, they say gradual weight loss. I, I don't think they meant a pound every two months, but that's the fail on the positive side. My heart, which is one way to, one very important way to judge health is way healthier. You take your, your heart rate, the lower it is at rest and during activity, the healthier your heart is. And from working out so much, things that would have my heart rate at, at like 175, 176, are now down about 160. My regular exercise when it was like 145, 150 is now didn't like 130 and my resting heart rate is down. So heart healthy, that's good. Uh, so not a complete failure. But the main reason I started this whole thing was of course the real making do. Uh, in which I was supposed to uh, break free from the bonds of materialism and not buy any consumer goods for a year, and that went very well. Not necessarily in a sort of hyper spiritual way of breaking free from the bonds of materialism, but for a year I bought very little, and it has actually changed things for me. Uh, I failed a few times, minor, minor little failures, and in very few things I didn't have to buy. Uh, I bought, did spend about $250 on a, a netbook computer. And I think I bought a couple shirts. That's the only thing I wasn't forced to buy. I probably could have got by without buying the pair of shoes, but I had no more cross trainer shoes, as you'll see in a second. So that was, that was kind of necessary too. So I'd hoped to never buy anything and make do by fixing things I had, but sometimes it wasn't possible. Because a lot of things broke or fell apart over the year. And at the beginning of the, that year, a year ago, I decided to start keeping a collection of everything that I broke or lost during the year. And so that collection is here, and, and we're going we're gonna to show some of it off. So, so one thing that most of this stuff was not replaced, by the way, Bluetooth headset, broken. iPod Nano, broken. Clearly broken. Uh, be back in a second. Three keyboards, yes, in one year I broke three keyboards. How in the world what? do you break three keyboards? Uh, let's see what else is in here. I got a bag of stuff down here. Oh, three pairs of shoes. Let's get into it. these pairs of shoes are really old. Four or five years, they finally got unwearable. These were my cross trainers that just got destroyed because I wore them all the time, so I had to replace those. What else is in here? Uh, let's see. A bag of destruction. A uh, pair of shorts. It's a shirt. Underwear, we'll just throw that down there. A couple pairs of underwear. I'm not going to show you those. Uh, four, four, six pairs of eight pairs. Wait, pairs aren't two. Like six or seven pairs of socks. A belt, uh, cable modem. I had to, of course, to buy a replacement for that because I can't do my job without an internet connection. Uh, a network cable, nobody cares about. A phone, an old wall phone broke. Uh, three pairs of headphones. Huh. More socks. Wow, oh, I go through a lot of socks. Another pair of headphones. I think it's the third pair of headphones. Oh yeah, that's what I call broken. And an alarm clock. 
Now this alarm clock sums up part of the reason I did the whole reel making do initially. At the start of the year, I had four alarm clocks. Why would somebody, I don't know, I somehow I just ended up with four alarm clocks. I'd buy alarm clocks. I mean, a little travel one, one like this, two regular ones, and it's like, how do you end up with four alarm clocks? See if alarm clock, it works, you don't need a new one. But that's how it goes. Oh, and a fork that I tried to tape together and reuse. So those are all the things that broke, most of which I didn't replace. And as part of the real making do, I kept track of all my expenses. I didn't bring my little, wrote them all down, um, which is a great practical point here. Record your expenses. You'll see where your money goes. In. It's amazing. Goes in. Yes, I said goes in. It's amazing to see where your money goes. You see how much money you're wasting. And so it changed the whole way I thought about buying things and spending money in the past. I would just spend money, not anything. I just never even thought about it. I, I mean, to a certain extent, for the huge purchase, I thought about it. But anything under like $150, it's like credit card, buy. That's how I ended up with four alarm clocks. I find my alarm clock. Four of those things. So just like, oh, there's an alarm clock. That's cool. I'll buy that. And that was that. Um, so the real making do success, even though I bought some stuff success because it did what it was supposed to do um, didn't enlighten me spiritually but it did make me think about money so sadly to admit this is the last video of the real making do in the slacker's guide to self-improvement it was a year of most of it went by way too fast and mostly where I didn't obey any of my own rules I made but at least I gave it a try Ah, to think back on the memories. The problem with this camera is there's no remote control to zoom it in for a dramatic, dramatic zoom, so. Cheer on, cheer on wheels trick. Looking off into the distance. So we zoom in. No, I'm hit something. Oh, geez. Part of the real making do, there's, there's, there's this pop can here. It shows up on the camera. Um, yeah, it'd be quite modern work for do. This pop can is sort of integral to the integrity of the desk holding together. That's part of, that's a real making do, that is. Pull that out. <laughs> Laptop held up by a pop.